Hello, my beautiful Libras. How are you today? This is a past, present, and future love reading. We are looking at the energies for what is actually happening in your life. So let's take a look and see. Welcome, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm so glad to have you here. We have Justice Libra. <laughs> That is what I would call a statement, Libra. You have shown up. Judge Judy, as I like to call justice, is looking for truth, and you're on the hunt for balance, love, something worthy of marriage and commitment in the past. Okay, three of pentacles. You may have found your person at work, <clears throat> but there is somebody who definitely is in your uh, field of energy that looks like they could possibly be the one there's probably, like I said, a crush. Oh my, <laughs> Libra, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, I haven't had a reading for you like this in a very long time. The Magician card, you are Virgo, Gemini, energy manifesting. Fantastic. Three of Pentacles, again, Capricorn energy. So again, it could be a work-related situation. Okay, but right now you are all up in your head. What is happening? King of Swords is Aquarius energy. So you're really trying to stay very balanced, very realistic, but Gemini energy. So you have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You have a grand trine, which is a very flowing, beautiful aspect energetically in this reading of air sign energy, which means that you will figure it out. Figure it out. You are on your way here. So... The, knight, the King of Swords is very logical, very clear-cut. Libra is very balanced. The Gemini gets in their own way with their head. But we see the, the Queen of Swords energy also. So you really are looking. This is you, Libra, yet again. So you are going to cut anything out of your life that really isn't going to be to meet your goals, period. You have your eye on the prize, and you are not going to be taken off your smoky your your trail your journey you are not going to be sidetracked off of your goals six of cups energy you may be in a situation where you're having a reunion with someone but the six of cups energy is all about sweetness and kindness and the simplicity of love as it was when you were a child it's like sunny summer days you know it's when you go for that really beautiful time at the beach with family friends you feel really loved and that energy is uh scorpio energy the three of wands your ships have arrived in the harbor so what we're seeing for your future and you have fire in your belly sagittarius the three of wands is aries and the six of cups again scorpio energy so you are manifesting okay so before we go further we're going to look at the moonology deck and see what the underlying energy is of this reading that you have to learn about because you know that's a spiritual journey that we're on okay so what do you need to know about this a win-win outcome oh my god a win-win outcome is forecast full moon and libra of <laughs> libra you are large and in charge of your destiny you are on the right path i haven't seen a libra reading like this and i just don't even remember when i am so excited for you how gorgeous okay so the energy here of the justice card, why is it here? Why are you here looking for truth and justice? Page of Cups, You're, you or someone near you is ready to make an offer of love. It's just a little offer, but it's a sweet, it's kind, it's lovely, it's emotional. I would say you're having a very intense flirtation with somebody at work. So if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's like a buffet table. You take what's yours and leave the rest. Okay, it's a general reading. Look at this. So we have the Seven of Cups. So right now what I see is you're in this energy of really wondering if somebody's actually flirting with you. You're like, well, I think my coworker is flirting with me, Donna. The Seven of Cups, but I can't quite tell because they haven't made a move yet. Well, they're going to. That page is right there. They will do something for you, like bring you a cup of coffee. I really literally think of cups here that they might bring you, you know, like a snack or share something that they have with you as a first sort of like miniature love offering. The magician card is clarifying the magician card. 
Well, I have not had that in a reading since I have started YouTube. I've never had the Magician card clarify the Magician card. Now, if I'm wrong, because I don't remember all the, the readings that I've published, please tell me, but that is phenomenal energy. Really, I mean, you're man doubly manifesting. All right, so Libra. The Magician energy, again, Virgo energy, which is work, you know, Monday through Sunday, and Gemini energy, which is all about mapping out a plan. You have all the tools. That's what it tells us. The Magician card is having all the tools at your disposal to manifest what you want, and that is what you're doing. The King of Cups energy is clarifying the Knight, the Nine of Swords. So you're very much in your head, even though you appear cool, calm, and serene. You do have your emotions under control, but there's a lot of turbulence at night. It doesn't look like you're sleeping really well. Okay, why do we have the King of Swords energy? The King and the Queen of Swords are divine partners, my friends. You know that. All right, we have judgment okay so judgment is when you make a final decision you you cast your karma into the future you make your choice and you this is almost called like live and die by the sword you know you're going to you're going to live out your karma with whatever choice you make so you want to make it a good one so your karma is good and so right now you're a little bit worried about it you're a little bit up in your head you're trying to figure things out but trust me my friends with this queen of swords energy you will seek the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and it will lead you to good karma with these two magicians really beautiful there's so much sweetness here there's so much kindness here knight of swords energy gemini energy is going to carry you through you're going to rush forward into the future you're going to not hesitate you're going to absolutely take the offer run with it and see where it goes so the tower card is like a surprise from somebody from the past the tower card can be read absolutely the tower is a foundation that isn't stable so what i'm seeing here for you with the tower card is that not only is it a surprise that somebody from the past returns or a surprise that you're going to invest in this beautiful sort of very nostalgic somebody who reminds you of your past you have to build your solid foundation and right now it's not solid so we're going to have to see what that's about why isn't that foundation solid nine of wands you have to you have fire in your belly now we have nine of wands twice so there's some sort of burden you feel like you have to carry for this what is a burden that libra has to carry in this relationship queen of wands energy a passionate businesswoman and the five of cups now this came out actually reversed so the five of cups reversed means no more sadness but you are being very um nostalgic it five of cups is when you really are worried that you're going to repeat bad history with the tower card you know that you have to build a foundation this is really good i love this reading and the reason i love it it's so important is that you recognize that you were hurt in the past by a tower moment because you didn't have a foundation from someone that may be returning to your life right now and or someone who's reminds you of the past the Queen of Wands, you are leveling up and you have fire in your belly to not repeat old patterns. Beautiful, beautiful. You are all about that foundational energy with that tower card, building the foundation, not, and there you go, Empress Manifestation, there you go. So there you have it. You have really leveled up, Libra. Whatever you've been doing in the past few years here, you have really been through it. You are leveling up on the playing field of life. Ten of coins. Oh, my God. Look at that. Win-win is forecast. Ten of coins. 
is the legacy marriage card in which you live in a beautiful neighborhood, in a beautiful home. You send your, your children, if you have them, to beautiful schools. Every It's like life as we would all like to live it. That's like HGTV. That's, you know, the rich and famous, whatever. But it really is. It can be a very strong middle class, upper middle class lifestyle. But it is powerful. But typically, though, it's a very, it's prosperous. It's very prosperous. So it really speaks to the fact that you can create something magical double magic here double magic my friends and we have the two of coins is your outcome with the fire in your belly so you really are going to be juggling to what are you going to be juggling to what are the two things that you will be juggling so we see okay the five of swords juggling old wounds okay juggling the anxiety from old wounds, juggling the idea that you don't know if you can really trust your feelings. What else do we see here? Ace of Pentacles. Yes, you can. You can absolutely trust your judgment. The Ace of Coins is making you stabilize. So the Two of Coins, even though sometimes you may have a little bit of self-doubt, uh, about repeating past errors that ace of coins assures a brand new beginning a new way of coming into manifesting this with this double manifestation card this is crazy good all right so we're gonna i want to pull a couple more cards here we're gonna go around i want to look at this nine of swords the king of cups so you're really worried about not keeping your emotions calm and under wraps why are you worried about the King of Cups. The King of Cups can handle the energy, but you seem to be worried about it. The Ace of oh, <laughs> Libra. Oh my God, you're so afraid that you're going to get emotional when you're passionate. Like in the throes of passion that you might say something that's unexpected. Well, you probably will. Tell us more about the Three of Pentacles. Six of Wands, great success in a work project in which you get recognition. So that is a manifesting of prosperity. You're prosperous in love. You've manifested that, but you're manifesting this recognition. That's like winning the Academy Award. It's Leo energy. It really speaks to the fact, Libra, that you get recognition for what you've done. Why is a page of cups here for the truth, the whole truth? The emperor card. <laughs> the emperor card is a beautiful card. That's Aries. That is your seventh house of marriage, Libra. You are manifesting the emperor energy. Fantastic. We had the empress. Look at divine partnership, Libra. Divine partnership. Abundant marriage, divine and abundant, and really, oh my God, okay. So let's look and see why we have the Magician card here twice. The Magician card, clarifying the Magician card, why would that be the case? The Star card, hopes and dreams for love coming true. After a period of time of being all up in your head, nine of swords, nine of swords, you have to trust yourself, Libra. You are trusting yourself. That So we have this Nine of Swords energy that's like haunting you, but you absolutely know that as you step forward into this energy that you're going to kick the butt of the Nine of Swords, you're kicking it out of your life, Aquarius energy, hopes and dreams for love coming true, manifesting. All right, so Libra, I'm going to give you a Shaman's Dream Oracle, which is the advice of what to do to create this manifestation. This is, like I said, the best reading I've seen for you in a long time. It's amazing. All right. Dragon's Horde, protecting the future. There you are, protecting your future, manifesting your future. We're going to pull one more card for you and... Horned cactus. Oh, <laughs> I've never pulled this. The horned cactus. What it means is it's going to take a certain amount of resourcefulness. But with the double magician card, the star card, the empress card, the, the emperor card, the judge. Okay, you can do it. It's all yours. Libra, I'm so happy for you. Love you, love you. Take care and um, hope to see you soon in another video. Thank you for watching.